You're all I need to get by And no one else can make me cry The way you do, baby You are the books that I read each day You are the song that I sing I need to sing it to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. And this is just my kind of topic today. I want to talk about my sister, Monique. And I'm coming from a different space, her son, rather, than a lot of y'all. And y'all know that... um. I believe that after a certain age, you know, you 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 should work on communication with your offspring, okay? Because once they begin uh, to be an adult, you know, we talking about 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, I mean, it's on them what kind of choices and things that they want to uh, make and do with their lives. Now, in Shalom's case, I want to know how many of y'all is out here making comments about her. Do you have any children? Huh? Because your children are always going to think, usually, I won't say always, usually um, are going to have some expectations of you that you are not able to reach, you're not able to provide, and you don't know how that affects them, okay? Because that's their minds, Okay? Now, when I hear her son talk about how she was so interested in being a a performer that she didn't spend time with him, you know, what would happen if Aretha Franklin's kids and Diana Ross's kids and Mark, what would happen if anybody that you know that is in a public eye, they don't even have to be a singer. Uh, it could be an athlete. Whenever you're driven and when you're working, even if you work a job that's high profile or you work a job that's nine hours, ten hours, your kids are always going to think you don't spend enough time with them. Some of them may be scarred. Some of them may complain. You gave them life. Good or bad, that's up to Allah. Okay? You do what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to provide you're supposed to put them in an environment and an atmosphere where they can thrive. And a lot of us can't even do that. So for me to hear this 30-year-old man now, or uh, that's a father himself, sit back here and complain about his mama. After she done bought him cars, she done gave him money to get, uh, helped him. Listen, he's a grown-ass man now. He's a grown-ass man. And he got to get it out the mud. Like they always like to say, get it. I got it out the mud. I got, well, get this out the mud because from where I stand, it doesn't look like that your mama made you get anything out the mud. Yes. The oldest child has always a lot more responsibility. I listen to my older brother right now. Tell me how he wish he could have spent more time with my mother. Okay, and he wishes he, not that my mother is uh, not here, but she has so many other kids and other things. He didn't get the best out of her. How many of y'all experienced that? Because, see, my generation, you didn't do this kind of shit. You didn't get on the Internet and try to explain to the whole world all the uh, um, uh, 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 fallibilities of your parents. That's some weak shit. And excuse my language, but I really mean for this to hit home. That is very, very weak. And any of y'all that's out there co-signing this craziness, I feel that you're weak too. That's what's wrong with these men. Women, we made a mistake. A lot of us thinking that we could raise children, especially male children, without their fathers or without a father figure. And uh, we didn't have a program. See, if you don't have no program as a woman, if you haven't been enraged by a man, 
you can't instill probably no good values in your sons. Okay? Monique was woman enough to admit that as she was young, like most of us, we didn't make all the right choices. And now our kids going to come back 30, 40 years later and throw that back in our face? And that's acceptable? You just make sure you do better with your child. Because she's going to be sitting up there talking about you. You know, it really bothers me when I hear uh, women make excuses for their children that are out of control, that are doing things way beneath the cloak. That really bothers me. And all they got is a mouthful of excuses why their kid did this and why they can't. And I sit back and I listen to them. Or, and, or they, they crowd the um, detention center us, um, you know, lobby and visiting areas and talk to their sons behind the bars and they get braiding their son's hair and all this kind of, and he's a damn jailbird. See, and y'all think that's appropriate. Y'all think that's going to uh, uh, change his behavior? By the time that stuff start happening, you already lost him. And going in there to comb his hair ain't going to fix nothing. And if you haven't grown up, you're going to find yourself in the same situation Monique is in, only it's going to be worse because these uh, kids are worse now. Totally worse. And I just want to say one thing to that young man. I want to say it out of love. Uh, son, your mama, when she knew better, she did better. Okay, I don't think in my heart that your mama never cared about you. Otherwise, she could have made a, uh, a a trip to the clinic. And let's just keep it real, like a lot of us did and have. Okay, went to the clinic and just er uh, eradicated the whole problem. We didn't even want to anticipate it would be a problem. She was young. Give her credit for allowing you to go to the private schools, allowing you. Yeah, you wanted to spend more time with her, but it wasn't written in the cards that way, honey. So the only thing you got to do now as a father, and you, you instead of sitting up here blaming your mama, yet talking about you a comedian, why don't you find out what y'all got that's in common, that's alike? And when she says she got three boys, a lot of times when you uh, have a two sets of children, you, God give you a chance to do it all over again. That's how I feel about my grandchildren. You get a second chance because some of the mistakes you made with yours, Lord have mercy. You certainly not making them with your grandbabies. So before y'all jump on Monique and jump, I really respect them. I do. I respect Monique. And what's wrong with a lot of us is we can't deal with honesty. We can't deal with accountability. And so far, that's what they've shown me, that they're willing to deal with it. Most of us can't deal with it. We make excuses. We squirm. We do all kinds of shit instead of sitting in it and feeling that uncomfortable feeling. When somebody tells us how we wrong them or how we've been uh, evil towards them, most of us don't want to hear it and we just want to move on. Well, you can't fix what you can't face. You can't fix it. And from what I'm seeing about Sydney and Monique, at least they're facing it. And, I, and they're telling you along the way. And for all of y'all that's telling them to shut up and dribble, Y'all are the kind of people that are tell me you can't forgive her, but you can get your ass up there and forgive Donald Trump, who done rape the great people, who uh uh done stole secrets. I hear a lot of y'all talking about y'all getting ready to vote Republican now. Okay, but you willing to forgive this white man that's a total insane human being 
and you're not even thinking about it from a rational perspective. You're just so mad at Joe Biden you want to vote for Donald Trump. But your sister is out here, and you talk about she don't bear no forgiveness. And you're not going to forgive her for what she did to her son. <laughs> y'all, y'all, we got a lot of healing to do. We got a lot of healing to do. And unless we really want to, we always going to be on this side of the ball. But you know what? Again, I respect Sydney and I respect Monique. And I want them to continue the path. Because the, the road to heaven is narrow. The gate to hell is wide open. And that's where they all at. So y'all taking the, the road that's least traveled. But the road that's honored by God. Because truth will set you free. So I want to know what y'all think about it. I want to know y'all comments. And don't be scared to tell me how you feel about Monique and Sydney. Because it's very important as a community. All right. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.